This special cat will lighten up anyone's mood. That was pretty amusing, huh? <laughs> Every now and again, I catsit Moo, and let me tell you, she gets the star treatment she deserves. She gets fed the best cat food on the market, and it's all catered to her nutritional needs, which is pretty expensive. I start off my day by dropping off my brother at school because I'm a carer for my family. So after getting that out of the way, I go to Moo's home around 9 to 10 a.m. And straight away, as you can imagine, she's hungry. So I give her one third of one of these pouches. She doesn't really like the beef flavor, so her owner asked me to mix it with turkey hoping Moo doesn't notice. After that I put it in the microwave for 5-10 to 10 seconds just to kill the chill because her food is kept in the fridge. She gets one serving of dry food in the morning with it as well. She has a water fountain in her owner's bedroom which I don't have to change, well it depends how long I look after her for, but most of the time I don't have to change it. I do have to go to the bedroom though to open the window so she can come and go as she pleases. Normally in the mornings, Moo eats her food and then she goes out straight away. So she doesn't really use the litter box unless it's for emergencies. So 9 times out of 10, it's pretty much clean. She normally goes outside after eating. I usually leave like soon afterwards. So this one time, this other cat came out of nowhere, like prancing around as if it was her own home. Moo's owner did warn me beforehand about the neighbor's cat who likes to eat her food. And for that reason, I now have to put away her food before leaving. So let me introduce you to Slipper. That's not her name, that's just the name my owner gave to her. Moo doesn't really like her. Normally Slipper will like slip into the house. Maybe that's why she called him Slipper. In the evenings, like around maybe six-ish, I come by again and I give her another portion of wet and dry food. I close the window and spend time with her. I couldn't find any toys, but I did bring my trusted laser pen. She absolutely loves this and it's always a winner with cats after playing with her um sometimes some cats are different sometimes they don't want to play so in that case like i will just sit on the couch and most of the time they do like come and sit next to me on the couch or like sit on my lap so um that's what i do most of the time with me and yeah like i'll update her owner i'll send messages send pictures and videos and just reassure her that she's fine. Sometimes parcels come for my clients, so what I do is I take pictures of the parcels and I tell them that this arrived. I'll make sure food's been given to her, the window is closed, I just make sure that I've done all those things and then I just leave the house. I always like let the cat clients know when I've arrived and when I'm leaving because I know a lot of like pet sitters they don't really do this but if it was me who had a cat sitter then I would want them to like let me know so the sort of service that I would want to receive is what I put out. This is the first of many Chronicles of a Cat Sitter videos, new and upcoming channel.